and welcome to Sapphire Kiss and Tell, where we review just for you. And this is my ode to Dancing with the Stars. <clears throat> Are you watching? Are you still hyped about the show? It's been a decade. It doesn't look like it's been that long, but it has been a decade since Dancing with the Stars hit the airwaves and took America by storm. We are on our 20th season, and I'm, I'm excited about that. When I realized that it was that long and that it had been going strong for that long, I had to do a video. I'm new to YouTube, new to reviewing, but this seems like a good time to really salute a show that has stood the test of time. Did you watch Monday night? Do you already have your favorite picks? Were you turned off by something? Were you extremely turned on by something? I'd like to know, so please comment below. Uh, our cast this season is very, very diverse, as always. They do a really good job of kind of giving us a big span, a big genre of people to look at. Um, the cast is Chris Soule, The Bachelor, uh, who recently got engaged. And he's paired with Whitney, which is winner, uh, the winner from season 19, who was paired with Roberto Alberto, am I saying his name right? The guy from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Then we have Rumor Willis, which is an actress musician, the daughter of Bruce Willis and Demi Moore, and she's paired with Valentin Shrivosky. We have Noah Galloway, the Army vet and war hero, and he's paired with Sharna Burgess. We have Robert Hervac, which is a Shark Tank guy, and he's paired with Kim Johnson. We have the award-winning, Grammy Award-winning, Patti LaBelle herself, Miss New Attitude herself, which is paired with Artone, and I know I'm checking up his name, Shavinsky. Help me out. We have Mr. Nastasha, uh, Mrs. Nastasha Lukin, which is Olympic champion gymnast, which is paired with Five-time mirror ball winning Derek Huff. I like her odds. <laughs> we have Riker Lynch, who is an actor, musician. He's a bass player for the band R5, and he's paired with Allison Holker. We have Charlotte McKinney, which is a model actress, and we know her best from the Super Bowl ad for Carl's Burger. And she is paired with Keo Most Keo. Let's just call him Keo. And I'm really really pulling for Keo this year, and I'll get back to that. We have Red Fu, who is a musician and half of the great uh, band LMFL. We have, and he's paired with Emma Slater. We have Michael Sam, who is a NFL player, the first openly gay player, and he's paired with Pita. We have Willow Shields, which is our youngest contestant on Death with a Star. She's only 14 years old, and we know her from The Hunger Games. And then we have the incomparable Mrs. Suzanne Somers, and we know her best from Three's Company and from the Thighmaster commercials. And she's paired with Tony this year. So do you have a favorite? I don't know if I have a favorite yet. Um, I love the show. I've watched the show pretty much the whole time that's been on. Here lately, I haven't been committed to the whole season. I usually watch the first episode, and then I wait till about episode four or five and see who's stuck around, and then usually about episodes, you know, seven or eight, and then definitely the last two episodes I always watch to see who's going to get take home the mirror ball. Mirror ball. Chelsea, excuse me. Ooh, I'm having a season. So um, this first episode, I won't do a complete review of these first couple episodes. Still so many people on there, and to do dance by dance would take a long time, and I know my sophisticated YouTube audience don't have time for that. So I'll wait until we get it pared down a little bit before I do dance by dance. But I will say I think it was a great first episode. I think the dancing was very classic. I think some of the people had really a lot higher skill set than probably the judges even thought and we as the audience even thought. I always say that they do a really great job of kind of giving us some really, really great dancers, people that will really be good, and the people that are going to take us on a journey, which those are the people I'm usually pulling for. Those are the people I really love to see how they grow. I remember last season, um, Cheech from Cheech and Chong. I think his journey was amazing, how he really, I mean, at his age, the way he really began to take the technique and really become a skilled dancer. And so I really like that. I think this year we'll have a whole lot of that 
Chio. I said I would come back to him. He is the first African American professional on the show, and I felt so bad last year. He went home the first round. He was paired with Lolo Jones, and the dance didn't go right, and she seemed to be extremely frustrated. And I was so disappointed because this guy seems to be really light on his feet. I want to see his choreography. I want to see how good he can do taking somebody through the journey. This year, I think he's still paired with somebody. She's a beautiful girl, but the dancing was not good. And so I'm hoping that he sticks around and that he gets, I hope you vote. Did you vote for him? I hope you voted for him. Shame on you if you didn't vote for Kino. He needs our vote. So if he sticks around this next round, definitely get on the phone, dial it up, because I really would like to see how far he can go in this competition. Also, someone that stuck out, Pazza Bell, the judges gave her rave reviews. Of course, her scores weren't all that perfect, but I want to see her stick around and see her. She's such a, a wonderful artist, and so I want to see her stick around. I want to see her um, take this journey as well. Suzanne Somers, I thought she done great. Let's get physical, physical. I love their routine. I love the way he stuck to what she was known for. Great job, Tony. So I love to see her kind of stick around. The um, Of course, the one to watch for the night was Ruma Willis. I wasn't expecting that from her, and probably you weren't either. I did like the dance. I don't think it was, to me, the best dance of the night. What did you think? Uh, but I thought it was a good dance, and I, I, she definitely has some skills. She's definitely going to be in the competition. I don't know if she'll take home the mirror ball, but she, she's definitely going to be there. I always think people like Olympic champions, and this year our Olympic champion is uh, – Nastasia, I always think they have a leg up. I mean, even though their background is not dance, they do some of the same things. So she'll be around. I think Chris Foles will be around. He's a hunk. He's a great looking guy. He has a great, great stage presence, if you ask me. So I definitely think he'll be around. I love watching Robert from Shark Tank. I love, I think he had a really great energy. And his partner, which is Kim Johnson, she has the biggest challenge. Okay, he told her he would give her that Ferrari. If they get the mirror ball, girl, I, I'm pulling for you. Now, I'm pulling for some of the rest of them, but I'm pulling for you. Get that Ferrari, girl. Get it. Go ahead and get it, girl. So he, she definitely has a, a, a great, great incentive to get that mirror ball trophy. Um, also, Noah Galloway. Oh, I know there wasn't a dry eye at home, and there wasn't a dry eye in the uh, ballroom. This is uh, a dub, double amputee, arm and leg, and I think personally that he will, of course, have the greatest challenge, but I think that first dance wasn't bad at all. I think his partner, who is Shayna Burgess, she de definitely has a big challenge, but he's a strong guy. I could see them pulling off lifts, and that's going to be amazing if they can do that. So I definitely, just because we salute you, your service to our com country, and I think that you are definitely someone to watch, not just because of the sympathetic value, but because you seem to be a very strong athletic guy, and I can definitely see it be some great choreograph around the challenges. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm really pulling for him. Um the Riker Lynch guy seemed to have some dancing background, so I think that he's kind of he's going to be there. Red Foo, if you don't go home, it'll probably be um, Charlotte, you know. And I want Keo. Did y'all vote for Keo? I'm still saying it. Please vote for Keo. Uh, but Red Foo, he was funny. I like to see him stick around because it's going to make us laugh. So I like to see him stick around. Willow Shields dance is good. She's young. She's energetic. I think she'll be there. Um, so really good cast, really great cast. Uh, I always like to see their journeys. Uh, my father was a big fan of the show and he passed away in 08. And one of his favorite seasons was the season with Emmett Smith and to see the journey that Emmett took. He wasn't a dancer. He was a football player. And so to see that journey was awesome. And so I, I love the show because I, I love my dad. I love how much he enjoyed the show. So I'm definitely going to stick in with it. I hope you guys are watching and I'm going to keep coming back and having a great juicy conversation with you. As the season goes on, I will do a thorough review, a blow by blow. Uh, who do you think is going home next week? Let's hope that it's not Keo. Did you vote for him? Please. And that you voted for him. I want to see what he can do. I don't want to see anybody go home. We know we never do, but somebody has to. I would love to know who you think it'll be, so definitely comment below. My name is Sapphire. 
Kiss and Tell, and I'm new to YouTube, I need you to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm looking forward to doing big things here on my channel. I'm looking forward to having a party with you, a party with you, so come on and have a party with me. And remember to get you some joy and to give some and have a delicious, and I mean a sensational, tantalizing, delicious day.